Hey, good morning, y'all. Welcome back to the birdhouse. Um, happy Thursday morning. Today we're gonna do a heart opening flow. So lots of um, heart openers. If you have a strap, um, be sure to grab it. If you don't have a strap, you can use a belt. You can um, you can use a like a robe, the tie for your bathrobe or a towel if you don't have any of those. So go ahead and grab something that you can use because we're gonna do several different arm variations today. If you're not super flexible through your chest, you might need a little assistance. Also, if you have a block, grab that too. But um, so we're gonna, I'm gonna give everybody a minute or two to kind of get on here and get settled. Um, again, we're gonna do some heart openers, straps, blocks if you have them. If you don't have a strap, it doesn't have to be fancy. You can use a, a belt, um, you can use a towel or a t-shirt, anything like that. Um, and then we're gonna get on our mat here. So we're gonna start today on our backs. Um, I personally am gonna use um, a block for under my shoulder blades um, so that I can open my chest. First thing this morning, go ahead and get um, my attention focused there. So I'm gonna put it right between my shoulder blades, lay on my back. If you don't have a block, don't worry. Um, you could roll up a towel or just lay flat on your back. Butterfly position with your feet. So soles of your feet together. And then you're just gonna lay back. Get comfortable. Relax your head and your neck. Let's take um, cactus arms so that you're kind of, again, opening through your pec muscles. And we're just gonna breathe. Breathing into your chest, feeling your lungs expand. So as we take a few moments here, you know, we, are, we all are in trying times right now. So I want you to just take a few moments in silence to, or, or speak it out loud. If you're at home by yourself with no one around, say it out loud. Say three things that you're grateful for already this morning either to yourself or speak it out loud and really feel it. Feel what you're grateful for this morning. go through your day hopefully you can continue to add to that list just focusing on the positive we'll take a few more breaths here so just feel the breath enter and leave your body We, we do concentrate a lot on the breath and a lot of people ask me why and it's because if you're focused on your breath you can't really be focused on anything else you can't be thinking of anything else if you're in tune with your body and your breath that's, that's the hard part of the practice let's take one more deep breath in Exhale it out. And just kind of bring your knees together and roll up into a seated position. Nice. And then you're going to take some cat cows here. So you're going to inhale and scoop your chest forward. Exhale, round it back. And then just keep going with your breath. I'm going to pop over here and look at the comments, make sure you guys can hear me. Yeah, give me a thumbs up. Good, thank you. Um, good deal. All right. So inhale, scoop your chest forward. Exhale, round. Use your hands on your knees as leverage. Inhale, forward. Look up to the sky or the ceiling. Hopefully you're out 
outside. It's a beautiful day. Exhale, round. One more scoop for it. And then let's come to tabletop. So just swing your feet around. Good. Take your right arm up. And then you're going to thread it under. Keep your hips high. Let your right ear drop to the mat. Your left arm can come out in front of you. Or if you're feeling stable here, you can take a little half vine with your left arm, reaching it up and around behind your back. Two more breaths. Good. Come back to tabletop. Breathe out. Good. Take your left arm up and then thread it under. Good. And then Again, right arm can go straight out in front of you or take a little half bind. Two more slow, deep breaths. Come back to your tabletop and then keep your toes tucked and sit back on your heels. I know this is uncomfortable, but just bear with me for a few breaths. Interlace your hands behind your back. Good. Roll your shoulder blades together so much that you maybe feel them pushing your heart forward. And then drive your knuckles down toward the mat. Just gentle back bend, right? The first thing this morning. And take your gaze up. For the breath out, tabletop to downward facing dog. We're going to take a few breaths here to kind of give yourself a moment or two to wiggle, to walk it out. This first down dog can feel a little tense or a little um, tight. And then just keep pressing through your palms to send your hip creases up and back. Breath in. Breathe out. You're going to take your right leg up. And then we're going to bend and open your hip. Good. Full breath. Breathe it out. One more. Downward facing dog. Take your left leg up. Open your hip. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Down dog. Take a full breath and then just step forward, hold at the top of your mat. Go ahead and grab your elbows for this one and just breathe here. Halfway lift, inhale. Hold to exhale. Rise up. And then interlace your hands behind your back. Good. 
roll your shoulders back. So you have to squeeze your shoulder blades together and then fold forward. Keep your hands, let them drift toward the top of your head. You can use a strap here if you need to. deeper, let your hands move farther away from your back. One more, breathe in. Release your arms. Halfway lift, inhale. Go to high plank. Let's start slow. Take a breath in here. Now you're going to lower halfway or you can take your knees down. Upward facing dog or cobra to downward facing dog. Now we have, maybe have all different levels joining us here today, so I'll try to offer some modifications. But I guarantee you, if you just listen to your body, you'll find the variation or the modification that works for you. So take another breath. Breathe it out. Come up onto your toes. Bend your knees. Step or hop. Halfway lift. Fold down. Rise up. And then grab your left wrist. Inhale, reach up. And then lean to the right. Just two breaths. back to center, grab your opposite wrist, your right wrist, inhale, reach up, lean to the left. Three breaths. Come back to center, reach, fold forward. Halfway lift, inhale. We'll go straight to low plank. Drop your knees if you need to. Upward facing dog or cobra. Downward facing dog. Take a breath. Breathe it out. On your toes. Bend your knees. Step or hop. Halfway. Hold. Rise up. Grab your strap if you have it. And bring your arms behind your back. So I'm going to take and make my strap a little tighter around my hands. Take a breath in here. Then we're going to sink into chair. So if you have the flexibility to clasp your hands, go ahead and do that. Or you can use the strap to give you a little more space. All right, so your back is gonna wanna really arch here. Pull your belly button in. Feel your core light up here. Drop your hips. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Breathe it out. Just one more, stay with me. Fold with your arms bound. Take a breath. Fold a little tighter. Release your strap or your bind. Halfway lift. Low plank. Upward facing dog. To downward facing dog. Take three breaths here. I'm getting warm, so I'm going to shed this sweatshirt. Just keep breathing, y'all.
super arch for right now. Breathe in. Breathe it out. Another breath here. Humble warrior. So you're going to bow down to the inside of your front leg. Three breaths. Another breath here. Wide leg fold. You can release your arms for this one. Maybe take your elbows to the mat. Maybe your head goes all the way down. Take a breath in. Breathe it out. Good. Halfway lift. Inhale. Walk it forward. Low lunge. Right arm up for a twist. We're going to add on to this each time, working into some binds throughout our practice. Take another breath here. Breathe out. One more full breath. Low plank. Upward facing to downward facing. Take your left leg back. Warrior one. Rise up. I'll use my strap just to show you this time. Interlace your hands. So even though I have my strap, I'm rolling my shoulders back. I'm active here. And I'm actively pulling in my belly to keep my back from arching. It's a really strong pose. Breathe in. Breathe out. Take one more breath here and then find that humble warrior. Okay, your hips are going to want to pop out. Bring them back toward the center of your mat. For three more breaths. Take your left arm up for your twist. Again, your hips are going to want to go twist with you, so bring them back toward the center of your mat. Feel the twist from your rib cage, your upper thoracic spine. Breathe in. Breathe out. Take one more breath. Low plank. Upward to downward dog. Right leg back. Warrior one. Rise. Interlace your hands. Open your heart. Humble warrior. One breath here. Wide leg fold. Keep your arms bound if you can. Breathe in. Release your hands to the mat. Halfway lift. Inhale. Low lunge. Walk it forward. Right arm up. Exhale. Good. Take a breath here. And then take your right arm behind your back for a half bind. So keep taking your top shoulder to the wall or the tree behind you, wherever you are. Again, letting your rib cage twist. Take another breath. 
breathe it out, unwind, bring your top hand high, low plank, step it back, upward facing dog to downward facing dog. Take your left leg back, warrior one, inhale, reach up, interlace your hands, heart shine forward, humble warrior, one breath, wide-legged fold, inhale, stay for the exhale, release your bind, halfway lift, Low lunge, walk it forward. Left arm, bring it to the ceiling or sky. And then wrap it behind you for that half bind. Find your center of your hips. And keep pressing your sh top shoulder back. Yeah, and just kind of notice if you're bearing down all your weight in your bottom hand, use your, your abs, your legs, your back to lift a little weight out of your hand. Take another breath. Breathe it out. Top hand, reach it high. Low plank, take it through your flow. Up. Down. Take a full breath here. Breathe it out. Let's do another one. Inhale. All of it out. Take your right leg back. Warrior one, step it forward. Rise up. We're going to take a different arm variation. I have to use a strap for this one. So strap, towel, whatever you have. So take your left arm up and your right arm back. So cow face arms. There's another Sanskrit name for it. I don't remember. Yeah. So with this arm variation, you want to make sure you're not hunching and rounding your shoulders forward, which is what tends to happen. Shoulders back, elbows press back, and then remember to bring your belly in so that you're not arched in your low back. Good. Breathe into this. Some of you may can get your hands to touch in the back. Great job if you're able to do that. So for me, it looks like this. You can see that. Take another breath. Good. We're going to take that humble warrior with this arm variation. And then notice if you rest on your thigh. See if you can come to the inside of your thigh. Keep pressing your elbows up toward the ceiling or the sky. Breathe in. Breathe out. Take another breath here. Wide leg fold. You can release that arm variation. We're going to hold it here a couple, maybe, let's say five breaths. So if you really want to go to a headstand, now would be a good time to do that. I'm not going to do that with you today because this ground is so uneven and lots of roots under here. If you're at home and it's in your practice, you rock it out. We'll do, we'll do three more breaths just because I forgot to count. <laughs> Last two, so if you're up, start to make your way down. One more breath in. Breathe it out. Halfway lift. Inhale. Walk it forward to your low lunge. Alright, we're going to come up to crescent lunge this time. And then bring your hands to your heart. So keep rolling your shoulders back and together. Nice. Take a breath in. And then we're going to take a twist. Again, watching for your hips to not play out to the right. So go ahead and split your arms here. Using your bottom arm for some leverage to take a half bind. Some of you may have the flexibility for a full bind. I do not. So if you have it and you're 
feeling warm enough, go for it. Breathe in here. Breathe out. Two more breaths. Inhale. Let all this air out. Warrior two, open up and land it here. Is anyone's front thigh burning yet? I know mine is. Take another breath. Breathe it out. Peaceful warrior, reach back. Chaturanga, low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Take one breath in. Breathe it out. Left leg back. Warrior one. Good, rise up. And then your right arm comes up this time, left arm goes back. Again, notice if your back's wanting to arch. This is not, we don't really want to back bend here. We want our chest to open. So engage your belly. Elbows keep pressing back, shoulders back. Breathe in, breathe out. Take a full deep breath. Take your humble warrior. Stand, go for it. Actually, I really like handstand hops. So I'll take a few of those. Maybe it won't hurt myself. Call them starfish hops. I don't have it today. Okay. Take two more breaths, y'all. Breathe in, breathe out, halfway lift, inhale, walk it forward to your low lunge, inhale, press it, rise up, hands come to your heart center, take a full breath, and then take your twist to the left. Yeah. Good, once you feel balanced, go ahead and split your arms. And then take your half bind. A few more breaths. Breathe in. Breathe it out. One more. All the way out. Warrior two. Breath in, breath out, peaceful warrior, reach back, low plank, upward to downward. Take a full breath and then drop down to tabletop, cow, inhale, cat. Keep going with your breath. One more round. Round it out. Cow inhale. To 
the downward facing dog. All right, take a breath here. Clear it all out. Take your right leg back. Warrior one, step it forward. Rise. Interlace your hands. Let's go back to this variation. Open your heart. Humble warrior. Breathe in. Wide leg fold. Keep your arms bound. Halfway lift. Inhale. My arms are still bound. Low lunge. Walk it forward. Arms are still bound. Crescent. Come up. Exhale. Take a breath in. Breathe out. My arms are still bound here. Another breath. Breathe it out. Airplane with bound arms. Lift forward. Hold it here. Another breath. Stay for this one. Take one more breath. Warrior two, step back. Inhale, reach back. Let's go to side angle. So if you have a block, here's a good place for it. All right, your chest should be nice and open now. We've done a lot of warming up, a lot of prepping, so we're gonna go for a half bind here. Yep, and if that's super easy, let's go for the full bind. You can also use your strap here. So once you bind, sometimes we have to dip down to get the bind to get connected, but then bring your chest or your shoulders back, chest facing forward. Nice, if you wanna take any bound postures, bound half moon, lifting your back leg, or a bird of paradise, lifting your bound leg. Come on back down. You stay wherever you are. Take another breath. Breathe it out. Unwind. Top hand comes high. Stay for the exhale. Take another breath in. We're going to bring that top hand down and go to side plank. Inhale. Open your heart. For three more breaths. Last one, low plank, up dog or cobra, downward facing dog. Take a full breath here, clear it all out, left leg take it back, warrior one, rise, interlace your hands, one breath, open your chest. Humble. Breathe in. Wide leg. Keep your arms bound. Halfway lift. Low lunge. Take it forward. Rise up. Crescent. Exhale. Airplane. Fly forward. Keep your arms bound. Yeah, we're holding that bind. Three more breaths, y'all. Try not to let your arms rest on your back. Keep engaged. One more. Warrior two. Reverse. Side angle. Good. So find your balance here and then take your half bind or your full bind. And then once you're connected, check back in with your posture, your form. Any bound postures that you want to take. If you're flying like a bird, take another breath and then make your way back. You can unwind, take your top hand high, I'll give you a minute to catch up. Breathe in, breathe out. All right, top hand, reach high, bring it down.
down for side plank. Inhale to open and then hold it here. Another breath. Breathe it out. One more, y'all. Low plank. Upward to downward dog. Take a breath. Breathe it out. Full breath. All the way out. Up on your toes. Bend your knees. So just maybe use this as a moment to slow your breath. One more deep breath. Breathe it out. Good. Open your eyes. Inhale. Exhale it out. All right. Tara's favorite pose, stork pose. Bring your right knee up. And then make sure your hips are level. You're not sitting into your left hip. Good, hold it here. Inhale, and then cross that leg over for eagle legs. All right, we're gonna take a arm variation we did before, the cow face arm. So left arm up, right arm back. Grab your strap, or maybe you're, oh, I'm so close. My fingers are so close to touching. But I'm not quite there yet. I'm using my shirt. All right, and then sit your hips down and back to take that arch out of your back. Good. A couple more breaths here. Elbows back. Heart wide open here, y'all. Be totally vulnerable. I'm so grateful for this fresh air I get to breathe this morning. Good. Unwind. Reach up. Feet together. Hands come back to your heart. Left knee up. Set your hips. And then take your eagle legs. Good. Right elbow up. Left elbow back. And then sink. Belly is hugging in so that you don't arch your back here. We're going to go to back bends in a few moments. Breathe in. Breathe out. Unwind. Reach up. Fold forward. Halfway lift. Inhale. Let's go to a deep squat. Nice, so palms together, shoulders are still back. You should feel a good con contraction in your pecs when you press your palms together. So you can stay right here or go to crow. If you've got crow in your practice, go ahead and get her done, y'all. Get your Heels as high tucked in as you can. Maybe even try to straighten your arms. Take a couple more breaths. One more. Come back to your deep squat. And just some cleansing breath here. We're going to go into our back bends. I'm going to challenge myself a little bit today with some things I've been working on and I'm going to encourage you to face whatever challenge you need to face today. So come on down to your knees. Kind of like we started. Let's take your toes, tuck them under. Alright, go ahead and interlace your hands behind your back. Alright, this time we want our back to arch. So glutes are squeezing together to push our hips forward. 
You just try to drive your knuckles down as far as you can. If that bothers your back, feel free to support your back. So we're basically taking camel here or any variation. Maybe you can reach back for your heels and then send your hips back forward. Take another breath and then just sit back onto your heels. All right, y'all, so if you do not have wheel in your practice, do not try this next variation, then you just stick with camel. If you have wheel, you can go onto your back and do wheel. Or if you have a really good wheel, good flexibility, we're gonna go from camel to wheel. And I'll talk you through that. So you choose what's right for your body. If you're gonna go for the camel to wheel, Scoop forward to the front of your mat. You want to have plenty of space in the back. And then just for a moment, just close your eyes and I'm going to speak to it and then we'll do it. So the trick for me, because I'm not super flexible in my hip flexors or not flexible enough in my chest, my knees have to lift at the same time that I'm going back. So it's a little bit of fear because I have to rely on just trusting myself to catch myself when I go back. Some people have the flexibility to get their hands on the mat before their knees lift. So by all means, if you can do that, go ahead. So we are gonna just visualize taking your arms up and then back as you watch your hands go back the mat. So here's what it's going to look like if you want to take a look or follow along with me. So I'm going to take my hands back and drop and come into wheel. So again, don't do this if you don't have good flexibility or a good wheel practice. I'm going to tuck my toes and come back up and then sit back onto my feet. So I'll do that one more time if anybody's watching at home and wants to do it. So again, your options are camel, wheel, or dropping back from camel to wheel. So on three, two, one, let's do it. I'm gonna drop back. That one wasn't as graceful. Let's take three breaths. And then I'm going to come on out, or you can come down all the way to your back. If you did that at home, great job. Super proud of you. I know it's very scary. Let's come back to butterfly just like we started. Actually, bring your feet to the mat and let your knees knock together. That's going to kind of create some space in your spine. And take those cactus arms. If you did not get that transition today, I mean, it's no, it took me years to get there. So just keep working on your wheel practice. Hug your knees into your chest and then just take some circles. And then go the other direction. Good. And then just let your knees go ahead and fall to the right. Take your twist.
take it to the other side. And you lay here. Maybe think of two or three things in your practice that you're grateful for. Think of the positive, the things that you could do, not the things that you couldn't. into a child's pose just because we didn't get that first thing this morning and it's a great back stretch hip stretch and if you're feeling a lot of tension in your shoulders you can take your hands back and grab your feet Walk your elbows forward and take prayer hands behind your neck. Come back up. We're going to take half pigeon on the right. So bring your right leg forward. You can take this on your back if you prefer. This is my favorite stretch. So find a place that you can relax your head, your neck, your shoulders. extremely grateful for this body that carries all the burdens that we face today. You can fill in that blank for yourself. onto your bum. Take a wide leg, but bring your right heel, um, your right heel as close into your body as you can. So if you're not sure what I'm talking about, just check out the screen. Right knee is bent, right heel is in towards your body. I'm going to use a little leverage here to get a good twist. So left hand, opposite hand is going to grab the right ankle as your right arm lifts up and over for your extended leg. So use that leverage, ooh, and you'll feel a really good stretch through your rib cage, through your quadratus lumborum.
come back up and let's go ahead and switch sides. So take your right leg out long, bring your left foot in. Right hand's gonna grab the left ankle, reach up and over with the left arm. Ooh, feel that leverage, pulling, twisting your torso. A nice active stretch here. Taking a moment to think of all that you're capable of and knowing that in each moment of your practice, you did your best. back up and gently roll down onto your back for happy baby grabbing the outside corners of your feet edges not really corners and maybe rock side to side give yourself a little massage your feet. If you have a block or a towel that you can roll up, I'm going to go into a supportive fish pose. I'm going to go a little higher level with the block than I did to start. So just between your shoulder blades, hard on this uneven ground, and let your head fall back. Relax. 
relax your legs, relax your shoulders. Savasana in that fish pose, that's perfectly fine. You're still open to receive the rest from your effort. We're only here for a few minutes, so for these last few minutes, if you've stuck with me for this long, stick with me for a few more minutes. If your mind is super active right now, which a lot of times it is at home, stop whatever's playing and just start to visualize everything you have to be grateful for. Because in these negative times, like the quarantine, it can be easy to focus on all the bad. So for the next three minutes, two to three minutes, let's focus on all the good. Just let it play like a picture or a movie in your mind. Maybe it even brings a smile to your face. Soaking in all that positive, positive energy, that feeling, that lightness, the happiness. another moment on your back or roll to your side. able to see you. I am extremely grateful for you for showing up, for maintaining your practice in these dark times. And I'll leave you with this, that though we can't control what's happening around us or to us, we can control how we choose to act and react. So choose peace, friends. Choose love. Choose gratitude. Namaste. Have a fantastic day. Get out into the sunshine. It's beautiful.